in order to feel confident, you have to feel confident from within. Real confidence comes when you're sure about yourself and you are a whole, no matter what are your circumstances. Every time somebody will give you a compliment and another person will perceive you as something different, you're gonna lose your confidence. And that's not the way it is. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Maria and today I'm gonna share with you tips on how to build confidence. Let's go. The time you know about yourself, who you are, what are your accomplishments, how hard you can go for a vision or goal you have. This is the real confidence. You have to be aware of who you are. So many people in the world, they just wanna be somebody else. Why you wanna be somebody else? You have to be yourself. I want to be myself. I don't want to be anybody else. I want to be me. Confidence is quiet. You never argue. Never, 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 never. So if you're someone that wants to build confidence, but your friends are nothing than confident people, you need to change your circle. You need to surround yourself with people that are confident. You like it or not, you are the five people you surround yourself with. And if these five people have no vision, no goals, nothing in their life, you will be affected. It's very important to surround yourself with the right people. You need to understand that some people have small goals, other people have big goals. And this is because of the way they grow up. They have a different journey. They have different mother, father, schooling system, whatever. For example, if you're telling to someone a goal you have and they're making fun of you, it means that you're in the wrong circle and you have to remove yourself from there. When you have something in your mind, even if you wanna keep it to yourself, you will never accomplish it if you're not with the right people. So choose your friends and partners wisely. Very important. Remove any toxic friend you have uh, that tries to put you down, does mean jokes to you, or pass you gossips, or whatever that person say about you, blah, 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 blah. This will keep your energy low. And these type of people are not okay with themselves, and they do it as a way of a coping mechanism of them for a short amount of time to feel good. So be aware of that. Listen guys, you know, we live in the internet that we have access to anything we want. So most important thing is to take care of your mental health, right? So who you are, what are your preferences, what are your needs, uh, what do you like to do in life and don't settle for anything less of what you want because of what people think. Who cares what people think? That she or he looks at you as a competition, be mindful they will try to take everything from you. So you don't need this type of friends. Never argue with someone. Actually, if you wanna make a point about something, you need to find a way to make your point of view valuable to change their perspective. Because everyone see their world from the way they grew up, from the way, from what they study before, from their mother, father, culture, society, where they are, you know. So you can't really argue with people because you want to pass your point of view to someone that has a different point of view. Remember that when people see you as confident, they will try to put you down um, because people that are hating on themselves don't like confident people. You need to be aware of this and don't let it get you. No one and nothing gets to your emotions. Don't fear loneliness. If you're not okay when you're alone, then you will not be okay when you're with someone else. Cause you have to be okay when you're with yourself. Let me tell you something. People are looking from that love, you know? No, that's not true. The love is within yourself. When you meet a partner, you meet him based on the same preferences, needs, values, mindset. You don't need somebody to love you so you feel valuable. That's not the way it goes. And many people think that it goes this way, but it's wrong. Always put yourself first, fully, physically, mentally, and then give to someone else. Mentally, spiritually, and physically. This is the three elements that you need to work on yourself before you try to help anyone else. 
understand that we're not coming to this world to love everyone, to be liked by everyone. If you hear a negative comment, who cares? Adapt the mentality of who cares. I honestly never care, never did remove myself from situations I didn't feel like I fit in. I evolve in my life and I don't need anybody's approval. Neither you. You don't need external validation so you exist. You validate yourself. Once you reach this level, that's when you don't care, honestly. Because only people who are not validate themselves are seeking and want to be popular and la la la. Who cares? comes from thinking on solutions and not problems. Because I had a meeting and I had my shoe broke and I was outside of a hotel, five-star hotel. So I got in, they were so nice to help me, you know, they gave me flip-flops. And when I messaged to my meeting, uh, to the person I had a meeting, she told me, oh, and this is not good, blah, blah, blah. So she was really negative. And I say, it's just shoes whatever you know so you have to see life as okay we move on like it was shoes honestly you train your brain to see the solutions we are uh, developed to think negatively it's out of survival but you need to change that thought to positive because otherwise you will be a negative person trust me and you want to be a positive person confidence is positive Self-care, really important to dress well, wear clean clothes, don't try to be trendy or follow the trends or whatever. You can, but don't overdo it. Like real confidence comes when you have a style. Like embrace your uniqueness. Like I don't understand why people are trying to fit in and be perfect. No one is perfect. Like embrace your uniqueness. Your uniqueness is what's gonna make you stand out. I'm weird. Like I talk to my dog, I hug people, I I am out loud. Like you know, you you need to embrace your weirdness. And when someone tries to put you down, you tell them, you humble yourself, hun. I will not. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and be the confidence person you deserve. Love you.